98 Not Out, sponsored by Shepherd Neem, proud supporters of cricket in Essex. OK, time for our third guest of the evening now. Um, many of you, if you've been watching um, the news, in fact, you can't miss him over the last few days. He's been absolutely everywhere. Um, he is the man in the deep sea diving suit who is currently doing the Three Peaks Challenge, raising money for the Lord's Taverners. Um, but he's here to tell us all about it, and we're really thrilled to have live on the phone Mr. Lloyd Scott. Lloyd, how are you? Um, <laughs> do you want the uh, right answer or <laughs> the real answer? You tell us. Tell us like it is. Uh, I don't feel great at the moment, I've got to be honest. I don't, I don't feel great. I feel a bit cold, a bit shaky, a bit shivery. Um, I'm very tired, so, yeah. Not surprising, not surprising. So, tell us of your progress so far uh, in this um, challenge. Well, we did spend Nevis, and that was um, a big effort, a massive effort. Um, That's the biggest of the three, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, it was interesting, one of the things I said beforehand was, I've never done any of the three peaks, so it would be really... Uh, nice to actually go and, and just experience you know um the, the, the all of the three mountains without having climbed them before so when i turned the corner you know i didn't know what i expected to see etc um unfortunately that left me kind of hideously unprepared for what lay ahead mm. because i think if i actually had gone there and checked it out i i, I wouldn't have um, thought it <laughs> possible really so um it was only the fact that i was confronted by um you know uh, the, the challenge ahead um, you know I just had to get on with it so that's, that's, that's what we've done so um, second day was an incredibly long day um, we didn't get back down the mountain until half past eight at night uh, it was it was uh, yeah it was a, a toughie and it would normally have taken me I suppose about two weeks to recover for something like that mm. and um, yeah like two weeks and I had like a day uh, before we then went up um, uh, Scaffold Pike started that yesterday morning and um dare i ask was not, that easier not as it's a funny way i used to describe i thought i call it spiteful it was not as not as uh high but just the going was not very good it was like steep it was uh yeah it was, uh, uh it, that, again uh, uh difficult and, uh, and uh, but different again in its in its own way so both nights we've we've camped out on the on the mountain so both nights it's absolutely poured down with rain. Mm. We've, we've actually, uh, but listen, I mean, I'm telling you how it was. No, no, no. I'm not, we I'm not complaining that. because you know I wanted to do the challenge. I want to raise the money for the Lord's Day. I want to help those kids. Um, you know, it isn't about me, uh, and I'm not complaining. Um, you know what, what? But that's what I had to go. You know, that's what I'm, I'm doing to to. Uh, what we set out to. So. It's, an, it's an amazing effort, and as you mentioned, um, you're doing this for the for the Lord's Taverners. Um, people that are listening seem to confuse the Lord's Taverners with MCC. Lord's Taverners isn't a cricket club; it's a charity which does a lot to help um, underprivileged and disabled children uh, take part in sport and um, and just make their lives better. So, um, if people can donate and support. Uh, what Lloyd is doing, it makes a huge difference and uh, puts a lot of smiles on a lot of uh, uh, a lot of faces, doesn't it? It does. I mean, hopefully, I have put a, you know a few smiles on people's faces during these difficult times. Yeah. And, you know, if people feel that uh, you know I'm worthy of a small donation, then then please do so because, like I said, it's not about me. It's, it's about the kids, and, and you know, on more than one or two or three or four occasions, you know, that has been the driving force when it's actually been. You know, getting really tough. You just think of, of all the programs that the tap has put on for you know for the, for the disadvantaged, disabled children, um, and those that have been suffering in, in isolation, especially during the lockdown. And, and it's, you know, you want a better you know you want a better uh, life and a better future for them. And you want you know I want them to experience the, the thrill and the excitement uh, of sport. You know, the joy and, and you know also the disappointment as well. The, the whole the whole the whole lot. So. Yeah, it's, it's um, incredibly important for, for me and for everyone at the charity that you know we, we can raise the funds, especially in what's been a very difficult financial year, um, so that so we can actually support these kids. Yeah, and we, we were saying just before we uh, we had you on air, Lloyd, that. Um 
clubs uh, and counties have, have desperately needed you know, sponsorship and, and revenue streams, um, but that goes even more so for charities, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I mean, you know, because I think charities, uh, they obviously provide services that, you know, the Main Street sometimes can't provide. So, yeah. So, but, you know, we've got that behind us now, so we're looking forward to um, Snowden. The final stretch. We're, tra we're travelling to Wales tomorrow. Uh, I believe we've got what is now going to be a rest day, uh, which I'm quite thankful for on, on, on Saturday. We had we had that extra day put in just in case we got held up on Ben Nevis for mm. you know slow progress weather injury whatever so we we had a we had a day's wiggle room there. Um, do you get to sleep so in the bed tonight? I do. Yes, <laughs> I think so. Yes, I got to sleep in the I sleep in the washing line tonight. To be honest. <laughs> I uh, bet. But, but yeah. So and, and the other thing is the fantastic support we've had the, the team and everything. Um, uh, it's just been brilliant. We've we've had so much support, so many so many laughs and giggles as well along the way. I mean, yeah, it's been tough. Of course, it's been tough, but just so many so many laughs and uh, and, and jokes. And, uh, some of them I could repeat. Some of them I can't. <laughs> but but, uh, <clears throat> but but really, you know, I, I think I said as well that of all the events I've done, and there's been quite a few, I've never needed to rely on. Um, uh, supported quite so much, and I have to say that you know none, nobody's let us down. Everybody's really, really contributed to this. So that, that's that it. You know, like I said, it's not about me as well. Everyone else is getting their own experience from the event. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that's just brilliant. And you know, in my opinion, it's only a charity like the Tavernus that could actually do that. Yeah, and we should mention Ford UK for uh, supplying the um, the vehicles that you've been using to uh, to transport um, your equipment and your uh, supporters around as well. Yeah, They've been really good. Yeah, we've had Burkhouse uh, supporting us. We've had uh, Van Gogh. Oh, I've given them all the bugs now. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, there's, there's, been, there's Ford, yeah, we've mentioned Ford. Yeah, there's a drinks company. So that was really funny. <laughs> that, was, that was one. Uh, my brother, who's, who's um, uh, supporting me, said, "Drink this. You need you need to drink this electrolyte drink. You know to get some um, salts and minerals like back in your body." Yeah. So I've just taken this bottle from him, branded bottle, just like guzzled it down, give it back to him. He went, "Oh, uh, yeah. They wanted to have a photo of you." <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> it, it, it went, it went too, um, it went far too, it went far too quickly. We've had funny, you know, funny things with people. I've got to take a picture of you because no one's going to believe you. And then someone else said, uh, "Oh, do you know what?" He said there was a, there was another bloke who did the London Marathon a few years ago. <laughs> in the oh, did he really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've been Scott the first time. I think you're taking these COVID precautions. Really <laughs> <too far. laughs> Look, you mentioned the, mar the marathon and the uh, and all the support that you've had for this. Presumably, when you did the marathon, there were there were people out on the streets, you know, coming and cheering you on. Uh, you probably not had that, have you, up these mountains in the middle of October? Obviously, not the numbers that you that you would have in in London. But uh, later yesterday. Um, so I said, well done, and then I got found out today that she'd gone back down and donated £100, you know. Oh, uh, fantastic. So it was, it, it, there's been some very, very generous people, and a lot of people have said, oh, yeah, we will donate. Um, you know, I've been told that, you know, that they that they actually have. We've, we've had some money donations um, as well on, on, on routes, but, you know, I mean, considering, I, I, again, I think a bit like... London Marathon, the people doing the three peaks, I think they understand what, what a challenge it is to do it, you know, um, in a more orthodox fashion. So, you know, they've, um, they've, they've dug really deep and really extremely generous, uh, giving us some donations doing it in the uh, rather unorthodox way I'm doing it. Have you encountered anyone else doing the three peaks challenge while you're doing it at the same time? Yeah, yeah, there's been groups of, um, there's been like uh, mini buses and groups that have actually been doing it. I think we'll probably get quite a lot, I think, on Sunday. Uh, we're not going to get to the summit on Sunday, but I think we're expecting quite a few people on Snowden Sunday, and we're, we're looking to finish on the, on the, on the Monday. So, yeah. Brilliant. 
so what you want, I won't have to queue to get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen pictures of people doing that. Crazy. But we're thinking the number of people that have actually. Um, I mean, our mountain leader said our last day on uh, Ben Nevis was was equivalent to an ascent day on Everest in terms of the exertion. Because mm, cool. We had to climb up. You know, uh, we had five hundred meter climb and then a thirteen hundred meter descent. It was a long. It was a long, long day. And no, five was eight. 800 metres, sorry, and, and then, so he, he said it was, you know, it was a real, um, in terms of exertion, it was up there with, um, with, you know, with, 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 with something that, that extreme. Wow. Again, made you think, made you think, wow, yeah, absolutely. Now, but last time you were, last time you were on Phoenix FM, you were telling us that this is going to be the last fundraiser that you're going to do, you're going to hang your suit up. Um, after this one, you still is that still the case? I don't think nothing. I don't think anything's changed, unless, <laughs> unless somebody came up and said, you know, here's a very very large sum of money that you know that we'll donate or we we uh, we can raise on the strength of you doing something. Hmm. But in terms of me organising it, no. I mean, I, I don't think I could get any. I don't think I could get any better. Certainly, you know, within the UK about what sort of challenges that you know that, that I could do, um, and certainly not in terms of the. The charity and the support that I've received. So it it would, you know, it's not just about doing another challenge. It's about doing something that you think would actually be better than better than this one. You know. Um, yeah. It's interesting. I think someone else said that um, when he, he, this this guy mentioned about the Everest thing. Somebody said, oh, "Yeah, lots of people have, have actually climbed Everest, but no one's actually done the three peaks and the diving." <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I can't right. imagine. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> and is this the same suit as the marathon? No, no, because no, that's in the like, museum in Greenwich. No, no, they've, they've got rid of that now. They they kicked me out of some place called Captain Cook, I think, or uh, <laughs> yeah, um, which I was quite privileged about. But no, the, the original suit, so I've still got it, but yeah, it was eighteen years ago. So yeah. you have bits of things that are glued, and it's, it's all kind of peeled and ripped. <sighs> and, and I'm not sure it would have actually. Uh, I'm not, not sure it would survive this. It's the, the suit. It's a, we've got a new suit from Latvia, right? You know, oh, so, right, okay. Yeah, I know, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if people want to donate, and we, we urge everyone that's listening to, to give whatever you can give. We know times are hard, but um, lordstaverners.org is the website. And if you go to the 98 Not Out Facebook page, I've set up a donate button there. Um, this is, as Lloyd says, his last challenge. So let's all just get behind him uh, and raise some money for an absolutely superb cause. Um, Lloyd, many, many thanks for joining us this evening. We really appreciate you taking the time. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Um, not go at and put all. your feet up and enjoy that rest day. Um, yes. <laughs> get as much sleep I, as you, you know, can. I don't even know what day. I don't even know what day. It's come down and I, I really don't. We've, we've been away and uh, you go up the mountain and, you know, there's, there's no very little reception and, and uh, I think it's about the first phone call I've had in a, I don't know how long actually <laughs> it's um, yeah so it's um, yeah a little bit of a time warp really so uh, there's no climbing tomorrow that's all you know no to that's it yeah, go, no, and in, go and enjoy your rest and as I say no. many many thanks for taking time out to talk to us pleasure, guys. we really pleasure. appreciate it and, uh, yeah, always, and always a pleasure yeah. good luck and take care yeah thanks very much thanks all right then much. take care yeah. thank you bye bye